Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune side by side maybe today. So I had a question in one of the other ones seeing if we could do some zero to 60 uh, hits in it or you know some launches or whatever to kind of compare this to the Turbo RR model. This is the base 120. So we're gonna do some two wheel drive and four wheel drive launches here on this kind of shell, uh, shell dirt stuff that we got here and let you guys kind of decide. I'm just gonna try to hold the camera on the speedometer and we'll try to get a little view from outside the uh, buggy too and then we'll just go from there and show you guys so again we've been having a lot of fun with this base model and it runs really good it's pretty strong it's still a turbo deal it makes 120 horsepower you have a 172 model and then like a 191 model but this thing still rips has tons of power so i'm going to show you guys that yet it doesn't have what the other ones do but i think you guys will still be pretty impressed or at least you can make the judgment if you want to get you know the 171 or 190 horsepower what's cool about this is i think all you have to do is add an intercooler a blow-off valve and a tune and you can pretty much make and a fuel pump and you can make it a 190 horsepower model so april drove us in on it and we're back here so we actually have a little spot right here nice little straight away i'm not sure if we'll be able to do 60 or not uh, but we'll try to keep it even and you guys will be able to tell kind of where we're at. You ready to ready to see how this thing does? Ready to rip. All right. I'm going to do the first pull in two wheel drive. Then April's going to do it in four wheel drive. Uh, just no brake boost, just straight flooring it and we'll see how it does. And then we can see how two wheel drive and four wheel drive launches compare as well. I'm sure the four wheel drive is going to be a lot better and the two wheel drive, you're going to have to drive it a bit. So uh, we'll try two wheel drive. Two wheel drive in a Can-Am. Sorry, it's a mess in here. We were in mud earlier, so high here. And then two wheel drive there. That a click up, that's four wheel drive. So two wheel drive, performance key is in it. All right, everyone, here we go. First hit. That was pretty good. This is a 60. Made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> we'll go back and we'll uh, do a four wheel drive launch now. Alrighty, so that was my two wheel drive launch. Now we got four wheel drive on and April is getting ready to make a hit. You ready? ready. Alright. Alright, here she goes. She's about ready to make a hit. Four wheel drive this time. pretty good hit so it definitely doesn't spin as bad and this stuff's pretty loose here it's just like uh, kind of I mean it's super fine powder right now alrighty so that was a really good hit she said you got up about 57 yeah that's what I saw. so right about 60 again so as you guys can see it kind of almost takes a little softer and then pours the boost to it once it comes in so now what we're gonna do is actually put the foot on the brake kind of stall it a little bit you got to be careful it's kind of hard on the belts on these uh, but just, just to give it a little bit of a load and then take off. So we'll go ahead and try that now. So she is still in four wheel drive. She's gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll do the same in two wheel drive. All right, I'm gonna stall it to about 3000. Yeah, it definitely helps. It definitely didn't have that little bog off the start. I got it to like 60 that time. All right, so it definitely seemed like that was a lot quicker because it didn't kind of have that bog on the beginning of it. No, it didn't feel like it. So it felt a lot better yeah. doing that? Once you get past that little launch, that's all you're gonna gain from the brake, but uh, it definitely seems to help. But in two-wheel drive, I bet it's just gonna kind of knock the tire loose and spin a little bit harder, so it might not do any better. Definitely in two-wheel drive, but we're gonna find out. We're back in high, two-wheel drive. Gonna roll forward a little bit. Verify it's in two-wheel drive right there. You guys can see that. 
All right, so here we go. everyone so i hope that gives you an idea of what the zero to 60 looks like in a 2020 can-am x3 maverick turbo base model that's a long name for these things but they are super fun uh this will be probably the second or third video that we drop of these things so if you guys are enjoying them let us know we can definitely do some more of these can-am videos we have a lot of fun out in it and it's easy enough to make some videos uh otherwise we are going to head back out so we're going to go ahead and kick the lights on in this thing and head out we'll do a little video on the way out of here but these things are actually pretty fun in the dark too i would like to get a little light bar though that'd be cool huh yeah. i think it'd help out here we also need a whip would be good for these things so as you kind of make mods it seems like you're trying to add some safety to them as well on these but so on our way out of here april wants to hit this horseshoe real quick so she's gonna uh line up for it and come rip around this thing it's a pretty cool little spot out here just a little little horseshoe out in the middle of a whole bunch of hills Looks like it's pretty rutted getting up there. Sounds like it rips pretty good right there. You guys can hear when the turbo comes in. Something that would be cool on that zero to 60 is to have like a draggy, but we don't have anything like that. So I'll let you guys at home decide which one's faster, what you think, or how fast that is. Maybe we can get one of those draggies and actually do true zero to 60 times, which would be cool. But I hope that's answered some of the questions on what does it look like zero to 60 in one of these things. Definitely does it, does it pretty quick. All right, everyone, so we're gonna head back out of here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more of the side-by-side -side stuff or any of the belt tune race stuff that we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Huh? Side by side Uber. <laughs>